Yeah, it's been a good start to the season. Obviously, the record seven and one is uh, very positive at this point of the year. But uh, yeah, it's been a, it's just been a, a solid start to the season in terms of building. I guess that's a big difference from last year. I felt like um, if you're comparing it to last year, we sort of were good throughout the whole season, and then at the end of the season, there was uh, other teams built and. Um, ended up winning the championship. Obviously, the example being Danny Mill. I think this year we're slowly just building, and we've had a couple of close wins. We've had a close loss, so I think it's just been uh, a very positive start from a uh, player and you know, team perspective. Well, Eric is first of all, he's just an absolutely fantastic bloke, um, you know, on and off the court. Um, secondly, he's probably one. Of the, he's won the Defensive Player of the Year, you know, the last three years. Um, oh, last two, two of the last three years, I believe, and uh, he's just a he's an offensive rebounder. He's obviously one of the league, league's leading rebounders defensively, and he's just a, he's just a defensive, uh, you know, stopper, and you know changes a lot of shots as well. So he's really anchored our defense from uh, from the big spot, and uh, I, you know personally, it's just. He's uh, really just stepped into that five-man role, so it allows me to move a bit more freely in the four-man, and that's really helped my game uh, this year so far because being able to put in that, that being it's uh, working with each other. Yeah. Um, yes and no. I mean, I, I say yes because there are some fantastic teams, and you look at our side, and it's a very strong side. You know, you've got Brisbane who have got, you know, you know Brisbane and Dan Nong, they're the two you would still almost say the best two teams on paper. Um, and it, it, there's been interrupted, you know, Daniel with injuries, Brisbane with, you know, Brendan Tees and that just coming back in, Scott Kenny coming in a little bit later. So um, I'm not, so, I'm, yes, I'm surprised considering how strong our side is. Um, but no, I'm not surprised in terms of uh, there's been a bit of interruption with some teams. And uh, yeah, it's just, I think the start of the season, everyone's trying to find their own fitting. Um, each team particularly, so I think as this, as the season goes on, that will change, and the and the the better teams will uh, um, continue to rise to the top. Uh, so far, or the, I would have to say, uh, well, North South Tasmania just uh, I think they've just come out and just you know they've, they've you know I haven't even seen the playoffs. There's some highlights of BJ Jenkins. He looks like to be the real deal. Um, they look like they have a young group who. You know, at the start of the year, I don't think anyone would have given them much credit. Um, and then they've just come out and, and they've just uh, they've gone about their business. So I've been very, uh, you know, very impressed by that. And also teams like Kilsyth, again, another team that was probably underrated, uh, but with a young group, but they've just come through and they've, they've played, they, like they play hard for their coach. And um, yeah, so it's those sort of things around Canberra look fantastic. Uh, you know, they've, they've built one from last year and they just look like they're even stronger, which. I mean, it's just a fantastic look over the whole league. It's you can't take any game lightly. Uh, I mean, that shows in our game so far. I think we've won most of our games by under ten points. So each team, you know, gives you a run. We played Sandringham last weekend. You know, if they hit a shot right at the end. You know, we're, we're six and two, and I think it was the same thing with Albury. And you know, there's there's no easy beats, but uh, yeah, definitely kills off North West Tassie have uh, has not surprised me, but uh, it's it's been interesting to see how they've lost so far. Um, which will be it'll be an interesting game now. They, they look like they've they've uh, obviously they've had a great start to the season. They just got back from Tassie. Um, they, I think they just lost both their games in Tassie. But up until that point, they were they only lost a, one game. They beat uh, they did beat Brisbane on, on the buzzer basically, which is, was a bit heartbreaking for Brisbane, no doubt. But um, uh, I believe Joel Nevers, who he was he was tearing up the competition for the first five games and, and their other import are, are both out this weekend but with inclusion of a guy like uh, Aaron McMillan and um, you got Jared Leonard, Tim Lang all those guys um, you know, still there, it's going to be a very tough game and um, they, they match up very well with us so it'll be a fun game to play in I, I, I do think they will have the uh, they have the support down here it's a, it's a very uh, it's a fantastic place to play basketball. There's no doubt about it. I think over the last five years, you look at the player um, voting and everything like that, and everyone loves to come down here and play. Um, obviously, it's a, it's a it's a fantastic arena. It's you know it's set up it's very professionally done, and the club is run very professionally. Um, 
but I think with the with I believe you know a lot of people talk about it down here and the, the super cats are very popular behind the cats obviously but uh it's very popular with a lot of people and anyone who remembers the NBL heyday down here with Cal Bruton, James Crawford, and all those, Ray Bourne and all that sort of stuff, but Shane Neal. But, um, yeah, no, I think they'd have to, I believe they'd have to make a whole new arena um, because I think the arena only holds 1,500 people at max and um, they'd have to make a whole new one. So I think a place like, uh, it would be, it'd be fantastic, obviously, but uh, I think a place like uh, Brisbane or another Melbourne team would be the... Uh, be the next stop or a Tassie team for that matter, I think, before Geelong. But uh, as I said, it would be fantastic to see that in the future if the NBL did expand further on. Well, that, yeah, that's, I think that's, you hit the nail on the head there, mate. Um, uh, yeah, the, 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 the Geelong's a very proud club. Um, it's a very successful club. They haven't won a championship since 2010, and there's been a lot of, I mean, last year and even the year before, they were in a conference final against Danny Nong, and then Last year we got beaten by Danny and all, you know, in the in the in the semi-final. So, um, uh, it, was, it was all about okay, we've got to get to the final, we've got to be in the championship game. You know, that is that is the mindset going forward. That I think the key this year um, is about building every game. And I know it sounds so cliche, but honestly, if we lose a couple of games, we win a couple of games. You know, as long as we're building and getting better. So when it comes to that end of the season. Um, we're in the best form possible. That's going to give us the biggest, um, I guess, yeah, momentum shift going into the finals. So, yeah.